if you want to install VLC play in your Samsung TV or you cannot get subtitles for your videos or your MKV videos, maybe this video is for you. As you may notice, maybe you cannot install VLC play. There's no such VLC distribution for the Samsung uh, TVs out there. But uh, but you can play the MKV, but you wouldn't be able to access the subtitles inside. So what this solution will provide to you is to have to extract the subtitles, put on a USB stick, and you can be able to see the subtitles. So I found a very good application. Yeah, yeah, with this application, you can see you can extract the subtitles. It's called MKV Cleaner. You can die online. Uh, I downloaded the 32 bit version because 64 it was detecting a virus inside, so I I took this one. And basically, what you do, you drag and drop this inside, and you do this, you select the folder, the same folder that you were, and you extract the subtitles. And you will see here, it will create a new file like this one, and that will be the subtitle of this one. So, like this, your Samsung TV would display the subtitles. And you can extract more language if you want, and you can change between these languages. So do this for your all your videos. I don't know if you can put all your videos inside and do it quickly. We can try now. I haven't tested this. I guess that's possible. So you select here and here. And it should do it for all of it, I guess. I don't know. She can do it manually. Let's try this. So, if you can do batch. Right. You have select all of them. Now it's for extra trucks. It should work. Yes, it allows you to do a batch so you can all extract them and keep the names. So let's test this on the Samsung TV and see how it's going. So now we store the USB on this Samsung box. And notification will appear there that a, a USB has been detected after some time and be press OK. And after you can browse your USB. You can see the subs are displaying below. You can go to the subtitles information and you can see the subtitles is here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video useful, comment below.